In this video, we will be discussing about bronchopulmonary segments. We will have a description of what is bronchopulmonary segments and we will draw the diagram. And at last, in this video, we will be discussing about some MCQs on this topic which have been asked in various entrance exams. First of all, let us discuss about bronchopulmonary segments in the right lung. So, in the right lung, we will discuss about the bronchopulmonary segments. So, there is an anterior view of the right lung. So, in this anterior view, we know that the right lung is divided into three lobes. That is divided by an oblique fissure and there is an horizontal fissure. Dividing in the right lung into upper lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe. And in each of these lobes, the, it is further divided into some bronchopulmonary segments. So, bronchopulmonary segments are the largest subdivision of a lobe. So, the lobes are divided into bronchopulmonary segments. So, we will discuss how it is drawn. First of all, look at the upper lobe of the right lung. So, we are drawing the bronchopulmonary segment here. For this, draw a Y here. So this Y will divide the upper lobe into some segments. So this one which is located on the apex that is called the apical segment. So this is apical bronchopulmonary segment. And this one which is located anteriorly that is called anterior. And this one is located posteriorly. So, posterior. So, in the right lung, that is upper lobe, how many bronchopulmonary segments? Three. Which are they? That is apical, anterior, and posterior so we look at the uh, bronchopulmonary segments in the middle lobe in middle lobe this is the middle lobe draw a line here we should divide the middle lobe into two bronchopulmonary segments one which is located medially is called medial and one which is located laterally is the lateral. So, in the middle lobe, how many bronchopulmonary segments? Two. Which are they? That is median, lateral. Now look at the lower lobe now we just divide it so draw a line like this this is the superior one superior and divide it like this into three parts and this one which is located anteriorly this is the basal segment no? so it is antero basal segment and this is located posteriorly so it is the posterior basal posterior basal and this is located laterally this is called lateral basal and there is another segment which is called the medial basal which cannot be seen in the anterior view which can be seen in the medial view of the right lung so which are the bronchopulmonary segments in the lower lobe of right lung. Lower lobe, we have five in number. These are superior, superior, androbasal, anterior basal, anterior basal, posterior basal,
lateral basal and medial basal so in total how many bronchopulmonary segments in right lung 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 5 10 there are 10 bronchopulmonary segment 10 bronchopulmonary segment in right lung and so when you are asked to draw the medial view also draw like this there is an easiest way to draw the medial view it is the hilum look at the picture of the anterior aspect so the apical is located here draw like this that is apical So in the anterior view, the apical is sorry. In the anterior view, the anterior segment is located here. So draw just opposite to what you see in the anterior view, in the medial view. Anterior is located here in the anterior view. So in the medial view, it is located here, just opposite. That is here. The anterior. And posterior is located here in the medial view it is located on the opposite this is the easiest way to draw the longopalmetary segment in the medial view posterior similarly you see the lateral and medial here on the opposite side we have it here that is medial lateral similarly the sup uh, superior here the opposite side that is here so you have sorry all this are media Use a napkin. This is superior. Anterior base is located here. And the medial view it is located somewhere here. And that is andro basal AB. Posterior base is located here. On the medial view it is located here. That is posterior basal. Posterior basal. Similarly, lateral basal here. This is lateral basal, and the medial basal is located here. This much is the medial basal. This is lateral basal. This is the medial basal. So the medial basal segment of the right lung is seen in the medial view only. So this is how you draw the bronchopulmonary segment in the medial view. So just learn the learn how to draw the bronchopulmonary segment in the anterior view, and just draw the opposite to what you see in the anterior view in the medial view. So it is the easiest way. And one that is left to lung
So we know that the left lung is being divided into two lobes that is uh, superior sorry and the upper and lower lobes upper and lower lobes this is the upper lobe this is the lower lobe so there is a lingula here the upper lobe is being divided into some bronchopulmonary segments that is this is again we draw a y shaped structure here this is the apical and this one is the anterior part and this is the posterior aspect no? so it is the posterior aspect and, and uh, near the lingula we have the superior lingula a superior lingular and inferior lingula so in the upper lobe how many bronchopulmonary segments you have that is five which are the apical, anterior, posterior, superior lingular, inferior lingular. So let us look at the bronchopulmonary segments in the lower lobe. Similar to what you see in the right lung, you have there is a superior segment and there is a medial one. This is a medial one. That is medial basal. And you divide into three parts then which is located anteriorly and on the basal part is the anterior basal that is anterior basal sorry and this is on the posterior as well that is posterior basal and this is lateral basal So, which are the bronchopulmonary segments of the lower lobe? How many? Five. That is superior, anterior basal. Posterior basal Lateral basal And medial basal So in total there are 5 plus 5 that is 10 bronchopulmonary segment in left lung also pulmonary segment in left lung also so when you are asked to draw the medial view just look at the anterior view and draw like this this is the hilum apical is the same 
and anterior is located here now just on the opposite right opposite side no the anterior anterior posterior is located here and the opposite side the posterior and lingular is located here you know that in the medial view only inferior lingular is seen so inferior lingular is located that is inferior lingular the superior is located on this side so in the opposite side that is here we draw the superior superior And we have the medial here, medial basin. Yeah. So the anterior basal is located here on the opposite aspect. Here you have anterior basin AB. Posterior basal is located here on the opposite side. You have the posterior basal. Posterior basal. Lateral basal is located here. So this is how you draw the bronchopulmonary segment in the medial view. So this is the anterior view. The first one was the anterior view. And the second one is the medial view of the left lung. Medial view. So once you learn to draw the anterior view, it is easier to draw the medial view. Now, some words about this longer primary segments. So what are these longer primary segments? So we know that the right lung is being divided into three lobes and the left lung is being divided into two lobes. We know that each lobe of the lung is, is supplied by a secondary bronchus. So the secondary bronchus divides into tertiary bronchus. So trachea divides into primary bronchus. Each of these primary divides into secondary bronchus corresponding to the number of lobes. On the right side you have three lobes. So there are three tertiary bronchi. On the left side you have two lobes. So two secondary bronchi. And the secondary bronchi divides, each of the secondary bronchi divides into tertiary bronchi or segmental bronchi depending upon the number of bronchopulmonary segments in each lobe. So on the right upper lobe, you are having how many bronchopulmonary segments? Apical and posterior, that is three. So this is the upper lobe of right lung. This is the right side, this left side. The upper lobe of the right lung is divided into three bronchopulmonary segments. That is upper apical, anterior and posterior. So this, this is the secondary bronchi. So this secondary bronchi divides into three. That is three tertiary bronchi. Corresponding to number of bronchopulmonary segments in the upper lobe of right lung. So, tertiary bronchi. Similarly, on the middle lobe, how many? On the middle lobe, two bronchopulmonary segments, that is medial and lateral. So, here the secondary bronchi divides into two tertiary bronchi. And the lower lobe, you are having. How many superior, anterior basal, lateral basal, posterior basal, and the medial basal? So the secondary bronchi here divides into five tertiary bronchi. So four, five. Similarly, on the left lung, on the upper lobe, you are having five bronchopulmonary segment. That is apical anterior and posterior and superior and inferior lingular so five so this one divides into five tertiary bronchi
on the lower lobe of the left lung you have again five that is superior anterior basal lateral basal posterior basal and there is a medial basal so here also secondary bronchi divides into five tertiary bronchi so we can see that the bronchopulmonary segments is the largest subdivision of a lobe largest subdivision of a lobe so it has its apex which is facing the root of the lung and the base is facing the pleura and it is an independent respiratory unit independent respiratory unit and it is supplied independently by a segmental bronchus so it is from the name itself you can see this is the bronchopulmonary segment bronchopulmonary so from the that is there is a bronco here it is supplied by an independent independently by a segmental bronchus or tertiary bronchus you, we have seen here that the bronchopulmonary segments are supplied by tertiary bronchi segmental bronchus or tertiary bronchus and it has independent tertiary branch of pulmonary artery from the name we have pulmonary also so it is supplied independently by tertiary branch of pulmonary artery so it is named according to the segmental bronchus which is supplying it so the bronchopulmonary segment is having its own segmental bronchus or tertiary bronchus and its own tertiary branch of pulmonary artery. So the pulmonary vein is located on the intersegmental part. So each of these lobes are supplied by more than one pulmonary vein. So it is not a it is not a bronchovascular segment. It is not a bronchovascular segment because it doesn't have an independent pulmonary vein segment because it doesn't have a pulmonary vein of its own because it doesn't have pulmonary vein of its own it's a bronchopulmonary segment but it is not a bronchovascular segment and it is surgically resectable also now we will discuss a few questions from this part first one bronchopulmonary segments in the right and left lungs respectively we have seen that in each of this lung we have 10 bronchopulmonary segments so option c is 10 10 that is correct question number two which are segments of upper lobe of right lung so we know that upper lobe is similar to apical anterior and posterior so P option c is the correct answer and the question number three parts of left to lower lobe of the lung except so the left to lower lobe is the superior anterior basal posterior basal medial basal the anterior medial basal that is the incorrect answer question number four medial bronchopulmonary segment is a part of we know that that is a part of middle lobe of right lung. Option D is the correct. So thank you for watching this video. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.